Hello church, happy Thursday. It's Lucy here again and I just have a couple of quick community life updates to share with you. Um, so we're in Easter week, we're in Holy Week and um, tomorrow is Good Friday. And so we invite you to the citywide Good Friday service. And it's cool this year because like, um, one of the benefits of the online stuff is um, in normal years uh, where we were had, would have an in-person service, um, some of the larger churches in Victoria can't join with the citywide service because there's just too many of them to fit in any building that we have in Victoria. But this year we're not limited by numbers, so some of the larger churches in Victoria are able to join with us. So if you would like to, um, at 10 a.m. tomorrow, you are invited to join with other churches and Christians across Victoria um, in a citywide Good Friday worship service. Um, then moving on to Sunday, um, so as well as our 10 a.m. live stream service that we usually have, I mentioned last week that we will be having a couple of in-person services. Um, we'll be having one at 6.30 a.m. in Gyro Park, one at 6.30 a.m. at Island View Beach, and one at 9 a.m. at Mount Doug Park. Um, and um, on, on the beach side of the road, but not on the beach itself. So if you would like to register to come along to one of those, then there are still some spots available. The registration link is in the email below or in the description if you're watching this on YouTube. Um, and if you have already registered, I just want to highlight to you, um, I'll, I'm going to send, I'm going to resend an email today with the link. There's a little form um, that you need to fill out um, that you might have seen when you were registering or might have come in your confirmation email, um, but uh, it's just a little health check. So um, you don't, we're still going to let you in if you don't fill, fill out the form because um, you will complete a health check when you arrive at the service. But um, honouring the regulations that have been um, laid out to us by the province and it's good practice to record these things. So ahead of the time, ahead of uh, Sunday, if you are able to fill in this little form, keep an eye out in your emails for it to come through, um, fill out this little form. It's just a couple of boxes to check. Um, of questions we're all really familiar with now, like you haven't left the province and you're not experiencing any COVID sy symptoms. Just check those boxes and submit it. Um, that would be really great for our record keeping for this event, just to document that we're doing everything very safely. Um, also, just a reminder that you will need to bring a mask with you. Um, hand sanitizer will be provided. Um, and also, you will need to access the liturgy for Sunday on a device. So you'll want to bring um, a phone or an iPad with internet connection with you. Um, or you can print off your copy ahead of time. We just won't have paper copies of the liturgy available at the beach. So that's everything about Sunday. Oh, no, one more thing, actually. Um, if for whatever reason you would like to join and share the liturgy with us for Sunday morning um, but uh, don't feel able to or it can't make it work to come to one of the services that we are offering, um, then I'm going to include a link to the liturgy that we'll be using in this email. So a couple of other people have asked if they can um, gather with their bubble, with their household, and head to a beautiful spot near them to watch the sunrise and just share the liturgy together as a family. Um, so if you would like to do that, we totally bless you in doing that. Um, yeah. I think that that's a great idea of those people. So um, yeah, if you would like to do that, the liturgy is in this email so you can access it from there. Finally, um, my last announcement is um, next Thursday at 7 a.m., so one week from today on April 8th at 7 a.m., um, our friends and missional pa partners over in Sasiga, Ethiopia, have invited us for kind of a catch-up time on Zoom. Um, so we, we have been partnering with Food for the Hungry in Ethiopia for half of my lifetime. Um, and um, it's amazing work has been done there over the years. And we really have forged 
friendships and deep, deep connections. And um, it's so encouraging to the staff there who are doing important and really, really beautiful work. Um, It's really encouraging to them when we connect and engage with them and cheer them on as a church. Um, So next Thursday is an opportunity to do that. You can jump on the Zoom call and ask any questions that you might have about anything from biomass burners to COVID-19 in Ethiopia, anything like to do with the FH project in, um, in Sasiga and, um, just meet the team, pray with them and be family across the world. Um, yeah. So if you would like to do that 7am next Thursday, you do need to register. The link is in the email or the description below. So that's everything from me. I hope you all have a really, really happy Easter. Send in lots of love. Bye.